So we're talking about candy today, right? We are talking about candy today. What are you eating today? Well, candy coke, that's all we're talking about. Well, is this the right kind of candy? We are, but you know, my favorite kind of candy is cotton candy. Cotton oh. as in no calorie candy. Oh. Oh, I, I missed that memo. Oh my. Well, it's okay. okay. It looks like you've had uh, quite a good share of that family size bag. I have. There's a. Uh, maybe we'll put them away from the dress fits in September. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea. And there's three canines sitting right close that oh, wouldn't mind like having some M and M's as well. Chocolate's bad for them, so I'll save them for another day. So, did you enjoy the ride in the Impala? Oh man, that was such a great time. I loved that car. Yep. I, I do have to say, though, if I had to pick between the Jeep and the Impala, I'd probably pick my Jeep because it has an automatic back hatch opener, so I don't need to try to figure out which no direction keys. to turn the key. Hey, you don't even have a key. I don't have a key. That's pretty fancy. They I, uh, I have to admit, I, I kind of like the pickup. It's a little easier to get in and out of. We had a lot of fun, though, in but that old cruiser. It was a great time. It was a great time. And we're going to go some night with the cruiser down to Bellevue and have some pizza with it. It even can make it on a gravel road, I guess. I'm excited. I not am Not only about the ride in the car, but for the pizza and the wine. We have not had that for a really long time. Yeah. So for those of you that like Bellevue Winery, and not that we're trying to promote them over any other winery in the local area, but I did see a Facebook post today that they're going so to be I. opening. So I'm excited about Eating that. Eating outside on their patio, I can't wait. Yep, me neither. Can't wait. They definitely will get a reservation from us. Well, should we take a look at our candy basket I today? I suppose. No M&Ms. But it does look like we have a full basket. We do. Today we're going to talk about candies that are cut up. So the past two episodes that we have done with you, the first one we kept all those little candy packs square quite easy to do. The second go around, it's still pretty easy, but you're going to do some cutting and some sewing with those candy projects. Today, we're taking it a step further into the more advanced part of working with the candy. There's still quite simple projects to do, but Triangles. we want to advance a little bit further into it. So what have you got in your basket, Louise? Well, one of the first things that I did with triangles I actually got on a bus trip while we were down at the Missouri Star, and looking back, my colors are a little wild. But this little guy is called Mix and Twist, and again, the, the colors were a little bright, and so we swapped it up to stuff that we had in the shop and did it a little bit darker. But they're just a nice table runner, popper. How about you? I like the cut corners on those. I know. Very I, trademarkish of you. I, me, I don't like squares. I like to have stuff a little bit different. Well, this is a half square triangle project. And its name is Bit of Honey, which is one of my favorite candies to eat. I like Bit of Honey as well. So this is just half, half square triangle units and We've added some prairie points that are dimensional around the outer edges of those. And we've also kept the middle project straight edge. So for those of you that don't want to do those prairie point project or pro points, you are not um, having to do that. So it shows you both ways. Prairie points are one of my favorite your ways favorite to things. edge things off. The old-fashioned way. Remember in our honey bun episode, we had that snazzy tool. We did try that new ruler. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the old ways. That's okay. Just works best for me. For prairie points, it works well, but for the Impala, definitely going keyless for the trunk Absolutely. entry is your best way to go. This little project also has prairie points around it. Quarter square triangles. And it's called Hidden Stars. Been one of our best-selling little patterns. I always marvel at a quilt show when we have these hanging in our booth, how people think that we've cut all those itty bitty triangle units and are scared to jump in and work with them. But we have a fast way to make those little quarter square triangle units, which will be taught in our candy club too. That's going to start next Friday, or actually it'll be this Friday. We're filming a week ahead. So we're starting on Friday. That's going to be fun. Make sure you sign up. 
$25, six patterns, and a whole lot of fun. What else have we got? So we started with a charm pack pattern out of this and decided anything we could do big, we could also do small. So this little guy is called Diamond Charm. Um, we minied it down, making it a little table runner, and this one is perfect for Christmas. I like the embroidery that you've added there on the side. Also with quarter square triangles, we add a little bit of wool. Yep. This is called Claire's Flower Garden. It's always fun to add a little wool to the cotton for those people that like to work with wool, but this project too can be left just as it is without the wool if you have a focal fabric for your border. And this little guy is one of my favorites. We should really redo this one. This is called Millie Collaire. And this was a pattern where you sewed up your blocks and then cut them apart again. And I put a little sashing in those rectangular blocks and added some wool applique in there. It's a long toilet tank cover. It is. It would look nice on your island in the house. Oh, this little guy is kind of similar to your hidden stars. Yes, it is. And it kind of shows this particular candy pack had a very predominant dark and light side to it. And so you'll see that those triangles really jump when you have that predominant light versus the dark. And it's quite simple to put together. Again, we're not cutting those little bitty triangles. We're sewing and then we're cutting. And I also added a prairie point border on the Imagine outer edge that. Of it. Look at those fun little prairie points. Tell us about this little guy. So hexes, we have to do just a little bit of those. Um, hexes work out perfect for two and a half inch squares. You can get, which we'll go into further detail with on another day, um, one inch hexes, half inch hexes, three quarter inch hexes, three eighth inch hexes, quarter inch hexes. Anything you can think of under the size of an inch you can get out of a mini charm. They're my favorite pre-cut to work with and I love hexes. And it's always fun that you get a multitude of color Colors. and fabrics when you're working with Hexies and a, a candy pack. So this came from our previous candy club and it's called Take Five. I love Take Fives. Peanut butter, caramel, I'm pretzels, getting a drift here that you might chocolate. like candy of oh, the sugar so form. Oh, good. So this is our version of Take Five done in two different colorways. But the quilting on this was something that intrigued us, how different things can be when you simply put X's in those rectangular pieces. It kind of brings out a totally different, I don't know, design of the quilt pattern. We've had a lot of fun with that. It was really simple for people to do on their machine at home. Straight but lines. the look is effective. Very effective. And taking this one a step further, we decided to make another long skinny toilet tank topper and you lose the design of the take five but it's the same quilt block that was used in the project you previously saw. Well, you need to tell us so, about this one. I like to find a quilt block and I like to use as many of the two and a half inch squares as I can but I also am not opposed to having to cut tiny little pieces. So Pigeon Falls was uh, the byproduct of chopping up your mini charm pack a little smaller than most would probably care to do. And it's named after a uh, exit on our trip out to Madison, Wisconsin. We always draw this big sign that says Pigeon Falls. And I thought it was a cool name. And so Pigeon Falls became this. By the way, for any of you that were thinking about going to the Wisconsin Quilt Show this year, um, it too has become a victim of COVID. So they are not having uh, the Wisconsin Quilt Show in September that we've been that we attending know and in the, the past. They're actually going to do a virtual quilt show like so many of the other places are doing um, in September. So more information is coming on that. So what have you got there? That looks like a very unique edged project. Well, you know, sometimes we're lucky we get designer yardage sent to us. And sometimes you take a chance on something you see on paper and you know it's bright and it doesn't fit the shop, but you have hopes maybe it'll color a little darker. 
and sometimes it doesn't. So these are all just half square triangles turned into quarter square triangles turned into a very funky shaped runner. I love the shape. I've never redone it to see if I like it better out of another color. You're always just very adventurous with your um, I do step out of the box. Maybe a little bit too far out of the box though because well, some of never, those colors are a really big miss. But never know unless you try. So I give you credit for that because I stay pretty safe in my color box and in my designing and I don't like to cut little tiny itty bitty pieces. I so I am uh, known to take my two and a half inch square and start sewing before I ever do any cutting with it on like I'm, you. I'm a planner. Yes you are. I'm a planner. I'm a planner and I'm a pinner. And I just go for it. But we make a good pair. We do make a good a pair. Good pair. In this situation, we can't say like mother, like daughter. No, no, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> so this little guy is called Starburst, which, oh, Starburst, those are good little things too. Yeah. It's kind of like eating a ball of wax, but with flavor. Mm -mm. So Starburst started off, again, really bright. Remember, I step out of the box and order something really bright on designer yardage. So this was take number one. I also really want to point out that every once in a while it's fun to play up with your sashing. So when you look at these, my bright one has got diagonal set pieced sashing versus this one that stayed plain. And I, uh, I have to admit, and she might not like this very much so I won't call her out on it, but I did roll into church on a Sunday and I may, may or may not have been told that I was the devil. And it's because putting binding into these little corners, which I actually did do myself on this one, was not much fun. But it's a good challenge. Yep. And it's really not as hard as a person thinks that it is. Just takes a little patience and thought. So in staying with my traditional like and look, I decided to do a Dresden charm and I pieced. I took two candies, sewed them together, and then I found another fabric that complemented the fabric that was in my candy pack. So I have one piece blade and one solid blade, and it was enough to make two of the Dresden plates, so I did a large one and then added the two on each end. And this is called cherry pie, candied style. And I believe before that, we just got candied pie. And this too has a pieced Dresden plate and then a solid one. And I quartered it up, added some lace to it, and a decorative quilting stitch in the center. And looking at that, it can be done in darks. It's amazing and I did how much twin stuff needle on this quilting one. on this one rather than the decorative quilting that I did on my first project. Well, it looks like we have one more in our basket that's not part of our candy club. And this little guy just sticks with doing half square triangles and adding in a little wool for some extra pizzazz. So you can see that you get a variety of sizes and shapes from working with candy packs. Almost all the projects that we've shown here today require one candy pack. The little hidden stars pattern, I believe we used two in that one. And so, that was just because there were prairie points on yep, the edges. prairie points will require more yardage. So once again, like I said, we're going to be starting our candy club this coming Friday. We will be sending out a pattern uh, as a PDF for you to download once a month. So it's the first Friday of the month. So six patterns, $25, and you can register on our website uh, by clicking the link. You will get just the patterns for that $25. And we will have kits available of the, the samples that we're going to show you or that we're doing for each month. We're also going to do a video so that we can actually talk you through and show you tricks, tips, whatever we think you need to know about that project via video so you'll have that to access as well. So it can be just like we're there with you.
And the noise that you hear in the background, it's time for the dogs to have their nightly play date. So that is what they're doing at this point in time of the day. It adds a little character to the video. Yes, it does. So this is one of the projects. I'm going to show you how to make those little Dresdens out of a two and a half inch pack. And as you can see, it will give you the option to do embroidery if you so desire. The second version that you will see as part of the Candy Club will not be showing you the embroidery in case that's not your favorite thing to do. And it's been kind of fun this go around. We actually have two different variations of each pattern that we've done. So not only do you have <coughs> one design to choose from, really? um, there will be something a little bit different about that second option besides the fabric grouping that we're using. This is one of my favorites. This is a quarter square triangle pattern. And I also opted to do some embroidery on that in the border area. And it was quite fun. I was quite pleased with it when I got it put together. I would say so. I really like this. And the next one that you're going to see is project number one. So this is going to be the pattern that you will receive next or on Friday when you sign up to do the club. Um, this is kind of a woven looking pattern. This we showed you earlier in a dark color and we had wool applique added to it. Um, so this is project number one. I'm excited for the candy club. I am too. We've been pleased with our sign up so far. And if I were you, I'd grab a bag of candy to eat while you were sewing. Perfect. Yeah, it would be a little bit of sweet to go with a little bit of fabric. So until next week, shalom my friends.